Welcome everyone to our third and final episode of Casa Fernandez. I'm Mike. I'm Mark. And we're here to review our third cigar in the series, the Signature Selection, the Aganorsa Leaf by Casa Fernandez. Yeah, we've been uh, real excited about getting back to this cigar. The funny thing about this is when we first started this show, the first episode we actually did was with this cigar. Mike issues, you know, quality. We, we just didn't have the, the gear right at the time to actually do it. So six weeks later, we're finally back to the cigar. <clears throat> um, I'm going to do it a little differently this week. I'm going to break this down first, and then we're going to jump in and let Mike ask some questions. He's going to – he really enjoys the cigars. This is going to be a lot of fun for us. But the Aganosa Leaf is, again, it's one of those 20-year Nicaraguan Puros. It's a 99 Corojo wrapper with a 99 Corojo binder. And then 1998 and 99 Criollo and Corojo long fillers. There's a whole lot of Corojo going on, and we'll, we'll get to the taste that you pick up in this cigar because it's, it's unparalleled to many other ones. Um, what makes this cigar so special, they only made 500 boxes these this year. You know, so there's rumor it may come back. There's rumor it may not. But as of right now, if you didn't get them at the show, you don't get them at all. Uh, we tried. Uh, last week, I actually contacted Casa Fernandez and tried to get more can't do it so if you can find these we'll get into the try by stuff in a little while but what makes this cigar so special is on about one percent of all tobacco plants there's these two itty bitty little leaves that grow on the top of the tobacco plant a medio tiempo leaf i'm probably not pronouncing that right but that's what it is the leaf is so sought after because that little leaf has the boldness and the strength of some of the higher grade leaves on a plant and there happens to be half of one of those leaves inside each one of these cigars. So. Yeah, that, you know, and, and you, it's a great um, segue into the cigar because it is so complex, it is so interesting, but I don't think, you know, people really realize the rarity of it, especially that that half leaf, that Medio the Temple, I'm probably butchering that, Casa Fernandez is probably cringing right now. Um, but why can't they duplicate that leaf if it's so good mark why don't you see this leaf in other cigars well i've i've read about the leaf before and i never there had been cigars here and there where people had tried to use it you know but what have you special things the issue is that it doesn't it, it you can't really trace the leaf to grow based on the lineage of plant it's kind of an anomaly that happens in nature occasionally as the plant comes to fruition and it grows you'll see the little sprout that comes up on top. It's one of two leaves that do it. So it's kind of just a, uh, if, if you've got enough supply, you may be able to acquire the leaf. I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you exactly how Cosman has got the leaf, because I, I, I wasn't there, I don't know. So Monsanto know. hasn't figured out how to alter no, the, not yet. the genetic <laughs> process of no, it. No, not yet. But okay. the fact that it's in the cigar, that's what makes it so, so so rare in itself and that's why the, only the 500 boxes could be made you know i'm sure you could have you could have outsourced more and more and more to make more boxes but that would have drove the stick price up even more you know okay well mark the first thing i noticed when i lit this up is like many cigars it was a little bitter the first several puffs you know getting to that half an inch mark right okay and it's, I'm assuming that is the loose ends of the cigar, right? That's where you get that 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 bitter from. You'll have to explain that yeah. to me. But it is really smooth out. It's creamy. It's very smoky, which I like. Right. Um, now, I'm going to try to describe what I get out of this cigar, and okay. you're going to have to help. Okay. It's very complex. It's very. It's almost like it's sophisticated. And, and I can't explain how or why. It doesn't have a one-dimensional flavor or taste profile that you get with many cigars. Right. Um, but I don't really know how to say what I'm saying. Yeah. But I, it is very unique. It is definitely a cigar I've never smoked before. 
Yeah, and it's I, very enjoyable. I, 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 I do not disagree with anything you just said. There's nothing it, subtle. No. So, the thing I like most uh, uh, about the cigar, and, and maybe it's a little a mind play, what have you, the the body of the cigar and the strength of the cigar. It's very full bodied, and it is a very strong cigar. It really is. But what makes it so unique to me is it's not your typical strong cigar. No. Okay. So you taste bitterness at the front end. Um, <clears throat> I taste a, a little more mute burn at the front end, right? So that's what you're picking up there is the, the end where the binder and the filler all come together at the end, what was rolled out. You know, that's kind of your uniqueness that lights you up, gets you going, and gets you rolling into the cigar. The one thing that I love about this is when you when I'm smoking it, it's, like you said, the smoke is incredibly creamy. It, it comes, it draws through the cigar perfectly, settles on your palate. You know, I'm picking up all those, all those crazy, like, peanut butter and, and soil notes from the Corojo. Um, it's got a real subtle spice that you feel in the back of your throat mm -hmm. when you draw your smoke in, which That's is really true. unique because it doesn't hit you right at the front of your palate and kind of give you that shock that some people It is, it's almost like the back of. of your throat. Yeah, you don't feel it till it gets back here. And the uniqueness, how you said it, it is, it is incredibly complex. The cigar has all these different flavors that if, if we sat here and started to try to break it down word by word, we just sound like a Webster dictionary. Doesn't make any sense, but you the way I, it's constructed. Yeah. yeah. And hey, you know what I catch myself doing, and I've never smoked a pipe, but I, I, I puff on this like a pipe. Like I, I like to smoke the cigar. Mm -hmm. A lot of cigars, you take a puff, you set it down, or you you know you come back a minute later but the cigar is very enjoyable it's like you keep wanting to smoke it and i think the one thing for the viewers that we never hardly talk about and it's a question a lot of viewers ask is is you know we, we don't talk so much about the cylindrical burn or how well the cigar is constructed because folks this is the difference when you smoke a quality cigar you don't have to worry about the uneven burn or or all the things that happen with those lower end cigars that some, most of them are made from the scraps on the floor. They literally sweep them up after they've been stepped on all day and pack them into a, a, a $2 cigar. And I think that's what people are used to smoking and that's what makes this so unique. Right, These yeah, cigars that we review. Yeah, it, it, they're, they're beautifully unique. They're, they're great. There's no question in, in the quality. What we're gonna do is we'll talk a little bit more about that quality. We're gonna smoke a little bit more in this and come right back for the breakdown. We are now at the Try, Buy, or Deny segment of our show. And for myself, this is definitely a try and a buy and buy as many as you can simply because there's just not many of these on the market and we don't know if they'll come back. Everybody needs to stock their humidor with some of these. Yeah, Mike, I'm, I, I have to agree with you completely. Um, <clears throat> the cigar itself, it's... The uniqueness, you know, sometimes it's a little difficult to break a cigar down because what I'm gonna taste, what you're gonna taste, what you're gonna taste, it's gonna be completely different. But the one thing I can tell you is the quality of the roll, the way it draws, the way it lights, the, 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 smoke, pro, the smoke profile itself on your palate, how creamy and thick it is, but then when the smoke comes out, it dissipates quickly, it doesn't hang around. It allows you to adjust to all the flavors, everything. You're a retro inhaler, an inhaler, a three, two, one, whatever. However you smoke, it's it gives you an incredibly unique experience. Uh, this cigar, out of all the Casa Fernandez Agonosa, this is the buy. I you if you skip everything that we've smoked, go straight for it. If you can find it, get it. Uh, the cigar here at Santino's, all three sizes range between it's it's eleven dollars. I'm sorry, 1050 to 1125. That's from the Robusto all the way up to the Bellicoso. You've got the Corona Gordo. No, I'm sorry, you have the Corona and then uh, the Short Toro, I believe is the other size. Um, it's, it, it's, it's in that sweet range. It's only available until they're gone. And it's, I, I don't want anyone not to have the chance to smoke this cigar. And in general, a roundup of the whole brand Casa Fernandez is, is also uh, a try, buy, and must have in your humidor as well. Because Guardian of the Farm, uh, 
name the some Argonos of the other one. The Argonos Elite. I mean, it's no. just, uh, I mean, look at this cone, guys. I mean, I ash this cigar, and that's a perfectly cylindrical cone. This is what every cigar you smoke should look like if it is a quality cigar. I don't know if you can see this, but it's that cylindrical cone shape when you ash a cigar. That's, that's how you know that it was rolled and all the proper um, ingredients were used in the right order. Yeah, to sum it up, guys, Casa Fernandez, get it, put it in your humidor, and you can just thank us later. All right, guys, do us a favor. Go down there, like, comment, subscribe, ding our little notification bell. Uh, we got a lot of great stuff coming up over the next next few weeks, months, all our, our, our shows that are going to happen. Uh, we got new little segments going to start coming out, too, so you guys stay tuned for that. Mike, what do you say, man? Remember, folks, the only difference between a good cigar and a bad cigar is the cigar, and this is the one you should smoke. Cheers.